Your direct mail sucks because... Do you think direct mail is dead? The answer is no. The, the problem is creativity in direct mail is completely dead. You see, if the age where you can pick up a computer, which is 2020, really last three or four years, um, information's gotten so easy, vendors have figured this out, they've made it super easy, so we pick up we find a template, maybe it's got a Google image on it, it's got a creative handwritten postcard filter, you know what I'm talking about. You just fill out, you just point click, put your credit card in, and what do you do? You change your name, maybe. Uh, if you're using a company, you change the company name, the logo. Uh, you change the phone number they're gonna call on. Um, what else do you change on it? Um, maybe you would, and then, Everything else is the exact same. So here's the, so when you do this, you create what we know today is called saturation. And saturation is the enemy of automation. So it's just, it's what, saturation is basically what we call the easy button. You know that button that they had, it's a red one. I think it's Staples or something like that. It's gotten easy. So remember, let's go back to the hardcore part of why we're marketers in real estate. If it's easy, then it's gonna be hard on you in the end. So give me an example. If you have a special list, maybe you have a utility list, a water shutoff list, a code violation that you had to go through six meetings, three interrogations, and a month of your time, but you got that list. It was hard, but guess what happened in the end? It was much easier to penetrate those customers who convert them into appointments, which led to deals, which got you contracts. And this is the same thing in direct mail. We've gotten so easy that automation has created saturation. Automation has created saturation, which has killed creativity. That's the reason your direct mail sucks. So how are we gonna fix it, Rick? Well, let me just give you a couple tips that can easily do it. Let, let me step back a little bit. You guys ever heard of the handwritten postcard? I actually developed this in 2000. I was working on this idea since 2010 and 11 when I was trying to redefine myself in a crazy upside down market. And I came up with a way to just be creative. How can I take a, a yellow letter? We see these things called yellow letter for those of you who have been around long enough. And we used to print on them and we'd hand dress the envelope. It was very time consuming, very expensive. I said, what if we could combine the effectiveness of a yellow letter on a postcard and make it seem like it was custom handwritten? That was born the handwritten postcard system. Those of you that jumped on, took advantage of it, you did really, really well. Why? Because it was creative. And, and honestly, I didn't know how to deliver that product. I knew I was doing very well in my market and I just wanted to help other people. So. That product, I still get postcards these days from the properties I own, and I love it. But here's the problem. You have the exact same message I put on there in 2012-13. Let me give you a little tip. If you bought the handwritten postcard system, which I sold as cheap as 50 bucks, which was one of my most brilliant ideas and made me just a ton of money in my market, you have the ability to change the template. You can customize it to whatever you want. So just change it up. But why are people, I mean, here's the problem. Creativity is dead. The problem is your sellers know it. So when they get, I don't have them here. When they get, hold on. I don't have them in front of me. When they get 10 postcards and they're all the same, the only thing different is the name, the logo, and the phone number. You have lost credibility with your sellers. They know it and they don't respond. That's the reason your direct mail sucks. Get creative. If you've got the handwritten postcard system, change the template. 
If you're working with a printer, I don't know, pay the 25 bucks and change the template. Printers have figured out they know which templates work and it's really easy. I'll be brutally honest. For two and a half years, I used the exact same two letters for my printers because it was easy. But you know what easy happened? When I, when I took the easy route, it became hard and I had to rediscover how to create and keep it going. Another note on handwritten postcard, that tagline, God bless. Now, I didn't create the word, um, and I'm sure it's been used all over, but I tested it. I split tested. I spent tens of thousands of dollars testing it, and I found God bless got the highest response rate. It actually increased it. We did numbers up to like between 8 and 10% with it. That's why I do it. I see God bless on everything. My postcard's been knocked off, and honestly, at this point, I don't even care. Um, I guess uh, copying me is the ultimate form of flattery, but I learned a lot with it. So if you have the handwritten postcard, go back and change it. The God bless was by testing. It just got a good response. It, it's a very neutral comment. Thank you's done the desk sincerely. You know, call me. I, I don't, you know. So. I've also noticed a trend in direct mail. Think about this for a second. All the other forms of marketing that you guys are chasing on the hamster wheel, they're called what I call disruptive marketing. Let me give you an example. RVM, cold calling, SMS. I mean, the list goes on. Here's the problem is they get attention, they get shock and awe, you get the customers on, and you guys are really crafty and you connect with them. Full disclosure, I've used them too, but I've got letters from uh, the state of Florida um, telling me what's gonna happen if I do RVM again. I, I can't do it, it's, 20, it's like 20 grand. I don't even know what the number is. I'm done. Um, I've had police officers um, show up at my business want to know we're getting so many complaints about this texting service you're doing and we wanna, you know, it is what you're doing is legal. I still don't even know what the clear answer is on it. Cold calling. There's all sorts of privacy. The DNC, are you scrubbing your list? And we're moving so fast and, and the ROIs are just falling off on it. Guess what? Your customers know it. And that's the problem. They're, they're tired of being disruptive. So what they do is they file a complaint and it works its way up the legislative ladder and eventually it becomes outlawed. Now we're the outlaw. So guess what? Here's a little secret. Direct mail is perfectly legal. It's legal. So use it. I've used direct mail for 16 years. I've never stopped. Has my ROI changed? Yes. But with that, I have changed with it. So if you have a tool like Cameron and Postcard, we can go back and change the template. Um, what I'll do is leave a link below if, if you want to get more information on it. Um, and, and utilize it, but a lot of the old techniques are really starting to work again. Disruptive marketing, although genius and brilliant, and us entrepreneurs, we kick ass with it, we're killing our own market. Direct mail is legal, it goes to the United States Post Office, you can't be banned for it. There's nothing illegal about mailing a ethical offer to people in their mailbox, plus you can order lists. So, for those of you who said, I'm gonna quit direct mail, I really think that option over again. You know what you need to do? You don't need to quit it, you just need to get creative. For those of you who know me, I test everything I bring out to the market in my business. I've been working on a secret project for actually just over a year right now, and I'm gonna provide you some ridiculous tools to help solve this problem, but the product never really solves it. Marketing is always an evolution and you have to work down it. You guys, who have worked with me know I love marketing, it's always gonna change. You have to try to stay at the head of the curve a little bit. It's okay to duplicate someone's system, but monitor your KPIs when it stops working, start asking the hard questions, why are they doing? Most of the time, your automation leads to saturation, which is really the death of creativity. So I hope this was of value to you. I hope you get something out of it. Do not stop direct mail. I uh, will keep sharing uh, my tips with you and eventually I'm gonna share a secret project. I'm so excited about it, but um, we're still in some testing phases and uh, I've had phenomenal results in my business. 
and I'll be sharing with you soon. So this is Rick Ginn with Flip with Rick. I hope this helps you out.